The terms objective and subjective are used to describe three kinds of nouns, either data, people, or calculi. Somebody who is using a disinterested calculus is said to be objective in their decision making. For example, we want a judge to be disinterested. We don't want them to have any conflicts of interest. In other words, we don't want them ruling on a case about a company in which they own a whole bunch of stock, for example, right? That would make them an interested party. So in terms of making a decision about things, TI and FI both are calculi. So it's appropriate to refer to them as objective or subjective. Now, Hume calls TI subjective. And I've had a lot of people tell me that the reason TI is subjective is, is it's the logic of the subject, not of the object. That is incorrect. TI is about the logic of language, which is universal. It's about statement connectives and or if then. For example, if I say the apple and the orange are ripe, then it's only true if both of them are ripe, and it's not true if only one of them is ripe. So this notion of exclusivity is what logic is based on, and conditional logic is absolutely objective in the sense that it's universal. Something that's valid for me is valid for everybody. Something that's invalid for me is invalid for everybody. And that's what TI deals with. Now, FI instead deals with the much more complicated question of what's important to me and how do I balance those conflicting interests because it's an interested calculus. So I've had many, many people try to tell me that TI is subjective because Jung says it is. However, even if Jung is correct that it's subjective, then what he means by subjective is objective. What he's trying to do is say this. TE is the logic of things outside of ourselves. When we have systems outside of ourselves that have nothing to do with language or people, TE figures out how those systems work. Each of them has their own independent logic. The vacuum cleaner works differently than the aquarium filter. However, in contrast, our own logic about what's important to us, that's our feelings. Now, what's the actual other objective logic? Why, it's conditional logic or introverted thinking. So even though that logic is of the subject and not of the object like the systems out in the world, it is nevertheless the case that TI is objective in its calculation compared to FI, certainly, which is an interested calculus. And it's okay that it is such. Just because Jung is wrong doesn't mean the world's going to end, okay? MBTI can survive Jung being wrong about something. Jung didn't know what he meant when he said subjective. He was saying the logic is contained within the subject, not within the object outside of yourself. However, he was wrong about that because language itself is an object outside of ourselves. And the logic of language is built on those basic statement connectives, and, or, and if then, and not. Those basic four statement connectives are explaining all of logic. I mean, all of logic is composed of those four things. And that's exactly what TI does. It deals with concepts that can collapse down into binary definitions that can be either yes or no, on or off. FI doesn't do that. That's why TI is objective and not subjective.